Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is a reading for the winter solstice, which is happening on the 21st of December. Um, it is known as the return of the light, the sun. As you can see during Christmas, there's all the lights. The festival of lights is just the reminder of the light that is around and within us. Now the new year begins with what new cycles of life's experiences uh, but this day is about transformation so following our inner light within anything can grow faith trust hope a change a chance to go within and bring light to the darkness and shine your light that's what the winter sol solstice represents it's the longest night this is where we meditate this is where we still see what core belief systems we have, what we haven't worked on, or what we thought we've worked on that keeps reoccurring, keeps coming up, those triggers that come up, whether it's the the way that you are interacting with others, whether it's that deep-seated belief systems and fears within yourself in starting new projects, in doing things in a new way, and you still get emotional about it, or it holds you back. These are the triggers that that I'm talking about, the things that have been in the shadow. So it's the beginning of this new page, beginning of the new chapters in your life, and what will you birth within and grow in the coming year, the winter solstice represents a time of rest, a time of reset, a restoring of yourself. It's time to nurture and meditate and give your spirit the time to rest for it's just as important as it is to take action. That rest is needed, especially during this day. This is a crucial time of really looking at yourself and allow those fears and allow those triggers to really come in up so they can go into the void by witnessing how they have had a hold on you. What story has been manifested in your outer reality based on your behavior, those behaviors that have been triggered by those triggers so how you're reacting instead of responding if there are things that are, have been coming up for you in the past year in the past day in the past decade and it's a reoccurring pattern that you get angry or you get mad or you want to uh, just scream and explode. Now, those are the things that have been in the shadow. And those are the things that are saying, hey, until you put a light on this and look at the belief systems and look at where these things come from. And this isn't about this comes because this is what that person did. And so and so that blame game, all our experiences are happening for us to become a better and higher version of ourself. It is about the wisdom that we're extracting from the experiences that we have had that bring about change. Change comes because we're now seeing things from another point of view. And it is about having compassion for suffering for others as well for earth is not an easy school and you know so it's having that compassion for others because you fully don't know what others have experienced or are experiencing so the release of judgments is also at the forefront because whatever we judge wherever that is pointing that finger is also the mere effect of it it's reflecting it back to you. So during this winter solstice, it's allowing your fears to be done. It's allowing those triggers to be done by witnessing it, shining a light on it, and move yourself into joy, into the light, into trust and hope and the lightness of your spirit and allow that to guide you forward. Not the fears, not the angers, not the triggers for those are going to keep you held within what you've already experienced. So those patterns will keep recycling, will keep coming up. And if it's not this person, I'll be the next person and the next person until you have resolved it, until you have gained a wisdom and an understanding from your experiences and you recognize you're not your experiences, you've become wiser. Your soul has come here to 
evolve and how are you evolving so one who stays in victim mode or in the blame game or in their fears is just going to keep repeating those cycles there is a spark of light that spark of light is within you and it's about you extracting that it's about you embodying the light within how does that light respond how does that light communicate how does that light nurture the self and others who are in a space of their own triggers and fears and sufferings so there's a lot of wisdom to be had and all this can happen for anyone that wants to look at their shadow that is willing to go into those dark deep places that scare you those places that you have denied yourself and remained in whatever that you're dreaming of whatever that you want to make manifest the healing so you can let those aspects of you go that old version that old self go is what is being witnessed during the winter solstice what is holding you back what have you manifested and you could see what has been manifested in your outer reality by the way that you have reacted to your triggers to others and to your circumstances in life because your outer reality is a direct manifestation of your inner so if your inner is not at peace and if your inner hasn't found the wisdom of the experiences then it remains in the shadow and what else is in our shadow our creativity our gifts our talents our abilities what we've come here to do and they're all over layered by the traumas and the cold uh, belief systems and and the rage and the victim and the addictions and and all of those other things layering on top of each other and this is the beautiful time the last 10 days nine days of um 10 days of 2023 and especially on this day to really have a symbolic death and ending and detachments to those experiences because once you've witnessed it you are now bringing forth the wisdom of how to overcome how you overcame and what you have done to become a better version of yourself today moving in with a new energy within yourself and in your outer reality because it is the responding no matter what others say no matter what others do no matter what job leaves no matter what situations and all these things in the long run you will see how they were all designed to help you grow to help you evolve so <clears throat> what you want to do during this darkest day of the year is intentionally work with reflecting on the inner those things that are coming up for you that you feel discontent that you're not happy with that are keeping you in that space make a list of them write them down those core beliefs those fears those patterns um write all that stuff down and if you can in a safe space get a metal bowl and you can throw it in and once you've written them or in a safe space you can put it in a fireplace a fire pit obviously somewhere that is safe so you don't cause fire inside or outside your home disclaimer and once you do that whatever that has been overwhelming you trust that the wisdom within you in this quiet time of meditation of what you're releasing you're honoring the past you're honoring your experiences you're honoring the darkness you're honoring the light within it's the yin the yang the dark and the light you're honoring all aspects of yourself and others and really coming from this place of compassion by releasing and at the same time what you're setting out is your intentions into the fire into that spark what you are igniting to bring in once we are stepped into the new year so after you've done all that now it's like okay i've looked at the shadow you can look at carl young shadow work there's plenty of things if you don't know how to do shadow work you can message me or you can um uh, really, I suggest Carl Young's shadow work, and I also do that during my readings with my clients. I'm more than happy 
to explain that to you. If you'd like, you can message me. The card I pulled from Kali, and I love um, Kali, and this card here is called Dumavati, and Dumavati, she knows that certain endings are unavoidable. They're necessary procedures to radical reinvention. Her presence brings the message that though disappointment, defeat, or loss, and the negative repercussions of such experiences may cause suffering for a time, they will not limit your future happiness. They are a means for opening as yet unrecognized pathways for fulfillment. Your trust must be unconditional at this time, and later you shall see that everything has worked out for the absolute best. Healing begins with an acknowledgement of suffering, and you cannot resolve an issue if you deny it exists. So we're looking at our experiences, and here it's about you recognizing, yes, there's been suffering. Yes, there's been ugliness. Welcome to earth. Welcome to the school. Uh, but there's great wisdom. And you'll see once you have integrated and you have released all those old patterns and belief systems and everything that you have experienced and how they were meant to give you strength and bring you courage and independence and creativity and, and allowing yourself to live authentically. When you recognize the wisdom in all those experiences, you know, from someone who felt abandoned, to, they had to find independence for someone who was chasing love to find the love within. I mean, the lessons are endless. The wisdoms are all there if you care to go within and to extract that information from your own life up to this point of what you have experienced. So as we work through those things, you really get to see the blessings in all that and you become a light body that light within you now is shining forward and you're guiding with this light within instead of the darkness and the pain and the defeat and the loss and the resentments and and you understand right so it's like it's continuous and it's asking us to really know that dimavati is the harbinger of endings and loss but also of radical trust and secret blessings and um, that are revealed later and most often unexpectedly. So something avoided at all costs happens anyway, and we end up being grateful for it because it frees us. New horizons open up, everything changes. It wasn't easy, it took courage. It hurt a lot, but we had to grow. And she was there with us, letting us know that you're okay, that all this was meant for you to grow and to evolve. Let's see what uh, Tarot wants to come out. Please leave me a comment, hit like, and yeah, what we're coming out, look at this, is the Eight of Swords. This is the time to really, 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 and at the bottom of the deck, we want to celebrate the life, celebrate, celebrate everything that you have experienced and look at all the trapped in your own mind, how we can self-sabotage, lock ourselves up, feeling trapped, feeling trapped with life, the negative, the, the, the angers, the resentments, the fears, and instead we can, well, we've had those experiences and now we can celebrate how far we have come and all the souls that have played in your reality to help you become a better version of yourself instead of, oh, that ass, or oh, I can't believe that. But even that ass had a reason in your reality. It's just perception. It's how you wanna look at it. You can look at it as something negative or you can extract and bring it as something of light. A card fell in our closing card. Practice speaking positively about other people and events and especially the future. Until next time, sending you so much love, so much light. Namaste.